Hello, my name is Annabelle Wellington, also known as Annabelle Active on Instagram. I am 27 years old and I'm a qualified level two fitness instructor and level three personal trainer. I, for the last nine years of my life, I have been working in London in an office job as a personal assistant. And last year I decided to take the plunge and have a big career change after thinking about it for far too much time. Um, so I signed up to Premier Global and I did my level two and level three personal training qualifications and completed those in October last year. Um, a little bit of my kind of background, my fitness journey and everything. I, growing up, I was always quite fit and healthy. I was always very active. I did a lot of ballet and dance. That was kind of my thing. And then I guess like a lot of people, when you leave school, you leave university or college, you kind of if you're not playing in team sports or you know going to dance classes a lot of people that those hobbies kind of fade away and i moved to london i got stuck in in the london life i got introduced to gin and tonics i loved going for after work drinks i met some lovely friends i had a great social life and i think my fitness just kind of took a back seat and i didn't not enjoy it i would still you know go on a run if i fancied it but i wasn't consistent and i was getting frustrated that i wasn't looking a certain way I realise now that it's obviously not about how you look, it's about how you feel in yourself. But for me, I was spending, you know, on social media these days, there's just so much going around, so much information, people posting pictures of them in bikinis. And I think I became completely consumed. Like I think a lot of girls, you know, in, in their early 20s are um, completely consumed by not looking a certain way. And I was unhappy and unconfident with my appearance. But it wasn't just because I wasn't exercising, it was everything I was doing with it. It was my lifestyle and my habits and the choices I was making. I was, you know, restricting myself Mondays through to Thursdays and not eating carbs and not drinking alcohol and not, you know, trying to go to the gym as many times as I could and just doing loads and loads of cardio to burn calories. And then come Thursday through to Sunday, I would just ignore all of that, go out, party, drink, socialize, eat whatever I wanted. And there was just no consistency. And it just wasn't making me happy. So after a few years of kind of, I think the older I got actually, I'd read more online and I kind of understood that you had to be consistent. And come last year, obviously we went into a lockdown and I was furloughed from my job. So I was no longer traveling into London and I suddenly had all this time on my hands. So I was, you know, writing home workout programs for myself and my friends. And then it suddenly hit me that I'd thought about doing my personal training qualification for all these years. And now I had all the time in the world to actually crack on and do it. So that was when I signed up to Premier Global and it was the best choice I've ever made and the best money I've ever spent on myself and the best investment. Um, and it was brilliant. We had all the online webinars. My tutor was so helpful. He was there to help me because I was a little apprehensive as you know, at school, I was, wasn't was great at exams. I was never one to kind of sit down and revise. So I knew that this was my one shot to work really hard. And, you know, I proved myself wrong and I managed to completely smash it and qualified in October last year, which was when I then also set up my Instagram page. And again, doing that was the best thing I ever did. You know, through Instagram, I've continued to learn so much. There are so many inspiring and amazing accounts and people out there and I've met so many people some people I would honestly call friends um you know you get to go to events you learn about other people's journeys and I think what I've learned as well is that everyone's fitness journey is so different and individual to them and that is why social media is a brilliant place but it's also why you shouldn't ever compare yourself to what you see on there and I wish I'd known that in my early 20s um and I think what I like to kind of promote on my page is that you know, from my own experience, I've learned that you can do both and life is all about balance and you can go for after work drinks and have a gin and tonic, but equally you can also go to the gym and you can make time for your own health and happiness and you can eat well, but also still go out and socialize and eat pizzas if that's what you want to do. I just basically have learned that, you know, everything in moderation, consistency is key. And that's why I want to promote on my page. And if I can help at least one other person and help them not be in the position that I was in in my early 20s, where I was just clueless and reading all these fad diets and, you know, ab workouts that are going to get you a six pack in a week and things like that, then I feel like then that's what I, that's all I want to achieve, really. Um, so, yeah, come earlier this year, just um, a few months ago, I decided to have my notice in at my job in London and take my personal training career 
full time. So that is now what I will be doing. And I am working in a gym part time alongside my online coaching where I help some wonderful people. And yeah, it's the best decision I think I've ever made. And I'm so excited for everything to come with it and to continue learning. I've signed up to two more qualifications through Premier Global. I'll be doing my spin instructor training and also my pre and postnatal training. So I'm so looking forward to you know, expanding my knowledge further and being able to help even more people. Um, but yeah, so very exciting times ahead.